So I'm gonna talk about this build. This is a build centered around stasis, not solar. And I say that because classy restoration isn't gonna be here for long. And I know the solar subclass has a lot of healing to it, even still. So it's still gonna be good, but this is a different option if you don't feel like running solar all the time, or if they do something to stasis later on. Um, I thought it was a fun build. So I'm gonna show it to you guys. If you already don't know about it, I wanna talk about the weapons. I'm using Wither Horde. Uh, and Akelos SMG with Subsistence and Demolitionist. Demolitionist is very important uh, for later on um, in the discussion. And then I'm using uh, anything from my heavy. I'm using Cataclysmic, four times the Charm Focus Fury. You're getting most of your uh, boss damage from your heavy. So your heavy is very, very important with this build. Now for the armor, um, I'm using the Ozio... Osmio Mancy Gloves. Oh my God, Osmio Mancy Gloves. Uh, your Cold Snap Grenades have an additional charge. Recharge faster on impact and have increased seeker travel distance. This is very, very important. I'm running Recovenant and Elect. Thankfully, this worked out with the tier five Brazil. And my grenade, my discipline, isn't that low either, which is fine. The way this build works is I'm constantly having my nades up and I'm constantly getting shards. But now for the fragments and aspects, I'm using Glacial Harvest. Um, freezing targets creates stasis shards around the frozen targets. Higher tier combatants create more shards and ice flare bolts shattering a frozen target spawn seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets. This works very, very well with the Oz, Osmiomancy gloves, Osmiomancy gloves by having those additional seekers. Now for the fragments, I'm using Whisper of Shards, uh, which also boosts my grenade recharge rate even further and gives me plus 10 Brazil, which always helps since resilience is very, very important uh, this time around. Um, I'm using Whisper of Rending, which I mean, could work if I have a kinetic weapon uh, with Demolitionist on it. Um, I may switch to, so this also helps. This is a freebie. You can change this out for something that may benefit you uh, better. Um, I also have Whisper of Torment. You gain grenade energy each time you take damage from a target. So I'm always constantly having my grenade energy up. Um, I have gloves that work around cold snap grenades. I'm going to make sure my grenades are up. Uh, and then I have Whisper of Rhyme. Um, I'm not worried about my resilience that much because of this fragment. Collecting a stasis shard grants a small amount of overshield, which falls off after 10 seconds. Collecting additional shards adds to the overshield and refreshes the timer. This overshield is important. Since my build is centered around grenades, um, I have my recovery, which will give me my rift back faster. But what about that damage reduction? This is where that comes in. Um, you know me, I always like survivability. So this is where that survivability factor comes in um, alongside my rift. Um, and if targets are frozen, they can't really hit you. And of course I'm using cold snap, regular melee, um, and these two don't really matter. I'm not gonna use empowering here because um, I'm going to want as much recovery and as much health as possible to stay alive so I can keep chaining grenades to enemy and enemy and enemy. Now I'm gonna go over the armor real quick. So starting off with the helmet, all I had was a linear fusion rifle ammo finder and I had elemental armaments. Combat and weapon final blows with a damage type that matches your subclass element have an escalating chance to spawn an elemental well. Now, this would work with Riptide, so I can sub this out for anything else, but since I know I'm gonna swap to Riptide, I keep this on, because Riptide is a stasis weapon. Next, for the gloves, I leave spaces open for the champion mods, but at the end, I'm running elemental shards. Stasis shards count as stasis elemental wells for you. One armor of the dying star, chest armor resists, um, and then I have Well of Restoration. Uh, picking up a Stasis Elemental Well grants you additional energy for your ability that has the lowest energy. So if I have my grenades up constantly and I don't use my Rift until I'm in a dangerous situation, it's going to my melee. And as you can see from my melee, my melee is 34. So I'm getting the most energy for my lowest ability. So I don't even need to worry about melees. Now, moving on to my legs, um, I have Absolution which also furthers all of my ability cooldowns if I pick up an orb of power. So since I'm not running any siphons or any orb of power mods, I'm getting these from my teammates just as an added bonus. And I'm also running Font of Wisdom, an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type, grants you a temporary significant increase in your intellect. So I'm getting my super back even faster, even though it's already at 101. And for my bond, I'm just running distribution and outreach since most of the mods at the making of this video and in this season are geared towards solar. That's the rundown of everything. It's it's meant to be a fun build, not some end game like haha -ha speed run mess, just something fun, something relaxed. Be sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell for more notifications. And 
I will see you in the next one.